Hey there, Aquarius. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Aquarius, the cross watcher, anybody that was drawn here, really. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message. I'm going to start with the moon deck here. Just get a couple overall cards, see what's coming through. And then we'll do a full Celtic cross spread with the Naked Heart Tarot. For Aquarius, please and thank you, Spiriat. I love this card. Such a beautiful card. I craft my core desires with certainty and ease. Number 10, cyclic, also breaks down to a one. Endings and new beginnings. This to me feels like you have collected all of the things that you need to create something now you're creating something new with it, okay? It's a very magician for me as a reader. And she's got everything here. She's got her air, her water, her um, earth properties, the fire from the smoke. No, the smoke from the fire, sorry. But you understand where I'm coming with all this. Like, all of the elements are present here. Planets are aligned. It's it's almost like everything's going according to plan. All your ducks are a row. You're doing something the correct way. With your whole heart is what I'm hearing. Wow, look at that. Justice. Current energy. Justice. Things are balancing out. Things are going in your favor. I'm also getting something about instant karma. As soon as you do something nice, something nice happens to you. Uh, as soon as somebody else treats you badly or speaks ill on your name, boom, something's happening to them. And it's like instantaneous. What's the incoming energy for Aquarius? I'm hearing just desserts. Receiving your just desserts. Somebody's getting a bonus on their paycheck this week. It was owed to you. King of Swords. There you are, Aqua. You are your near future. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but clear focus, clear understanding of what's happening. You're just really aware at this point is what I'm getting. Um, things make sense to you on a spiritual level. I feel like you're very rehearsed. You know your stuff. And because you're doing things for the right reasons, with a clear conscience, it's what's best for all involved. Um, things are really going your way right now. Preparation is when luck meets opportunity. No, Jessica. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. You've been preparing for something and now... Now it's time to show that off a little bit. And looky there. Wish fulfillment in your foundation with the Nine of Cups. <sighs> oh, happy day. That's what I'm getting. Four of Swords and the Queen. Looking right at the King. You put something to rest recently. You put something to rest. You may have cut something or someone or just a conversation. You cut something out. It wasn't healthy. It wasn't serving you in any kind of positive way. Um, it just needed to go. It was time. For some of you, there actually could have been a death. Um, loved one, I'm, I'm getting pet as well. It could have been the death of a pet. It was just time. Something something is over, but it's like there's something so natural about it. I'm having a hard time trying to find the right words to use to describe this to you um, for it to make more sense. But you know how sometimes it's just it's time for a relationship to end. It's time for... You know, this old, poor, sick dog to just cross over the rainbow bridge and, and head to the rainbow farm or whatever you want to call it. 
Um, it, it's just, it's time. Something was like a naturally timed process. It's weird how I'm receiving it. Innocence of wands. You're just naturally traveling, naturally moving on. Um, interesting. Some of you guys are going to be happier outside of a relationship. Because this relationship just wasn't it. At some point in time, maybe it was, but it, it's like something is, is getting ready to expire here. Sorry, Aquarius. I don't usually feel this, um, this blocked in interpreting a message. trying to think of a really good example here and I'm struggling oh well I suppose um I was working at a restaurant I was a waitress and um the crew set me up to fire me which pushed me into putting myself out there and doing tarot um I actually started on Facebook and then I came over here to YouTube and that took right off and boom, 2020, COVID, lockdowns, and I was still able to pay my bills because of YouTube, which I wouldn't have done had I not gotten fired from the restaurant. So even though I was kind of like pushed out of the restaurant, yeah, that wasn't exactly natural. Everything that happened as a result of that was very natural and it saved my ass. I couldn't see it then. Then it was like traumatic and it was really bad. I just had a baby and they fucking set me up to fire me. Like it was a really, really bad situation that I was put into. Not one that I deserved. But didn't it work out in the end, in the long run? I didn't see the blessing that it was when it was happening because it did not come across as a blessing in the moment. But later on, Oh my gosh, that is the best thing that could have happened to me at that moment. I was in a relationship, so I actually had um, some financial support to make the switch. And by the time that went down the shitter, I was okay. So it just, it feels like something that's coming to an end for you now. It's like you have the gift, you have this ability to understand that it's for a good thing. It's it's a good thing. It's not actually a bad thing, even though some people would be viewing it as a bad thing in that moment. It's like you are able to see what can come of this. Whereas I couldn't in that moment. But you can, Aquarius. Whew, I think I finally did it. <laughs> I think I was finally able to get a decent enough example out there to explain this. Okay, so what is in the near future? I'm also getting, um, if it is a pet that's passing away, that pet is going to come to you, but in a different form later on in this same lifetime. So like this time your dog comes to you as a cat. The cat distribution center is going to choose you in about two, three years. This cat shows up acting just like the dog that you used to have that passed away. It just got old. It was natural, right? So like your, your friend is coming back around. They're just going to look different, right? There's something about that here as well. Nine of Wands and the Sun. Yeah, it's like you're given this upper hand. The ability to, to understand, to see very clearly during a very difficult time, some difficult stuff. I like this because it, it's like with knowledge is power, right? So having this knowledge, 
it's helping you to get through this with ease. Look at that. With certainty and ease. It's just making this process a lot easier to deal with for you. What's the blockage? Does Aqua have any blockages here? The hermit keeping to yourself. Unlocking the wisdom. Some of you don't actually have the answers, but you just feel so comfortable throughout a, a kind of disruptive change uh, process. There's just something so everything's going to be all right about it. Maybe you don't know what it is that's going to be all right. You just know that somehow it is going to be all right. Um, how the universe is viewing you? Death. Major endings. Major endings. Some of you are choosing these endings. Some of you are just kind of going along with the endings that are happening around you. Um, but either way, you're very much in the energy. You're letting it move through you flowing through you okay now we're getting into the water bit of it yeah it's like the emotions are just naturally flowing how they should be they're not getting blocked up they're not you know contents under pressure will explode soon it's completely uh completely avoiding that that part of the process is not here anger is just not a part of this grieving process for you there's no frustration there's oddly okay. The goal here, Seven of Pentacles, to stay rooted, to stay grounded, to stay firm with your feet in the ground. Okay. Stable, abundant, high vibrational, connected. You're, you're staying rooted. You're staying grounded. I like this very, very much, Aquarius. This is fucking impressive. Um, what's the potential outcome here? By the way, we have Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. All the fixed signs. Uh, we also have Libra twice. The Five of Cups and the Heart of Cups. Wow. It's not that you're unaffected. You still feel a little bit hurt. You still feel the loss. You're just not letting it take over all of your other emotions, everything else that's going on. There is a time to mourn. There is a time to let go. But there's also a time to rejoice. And there's a time to take a step back. There, You know, and I think you're just... Maybe you're very experienced or maybe you're very adaptable these changes are not getting you all choked up emotionally financially physically you're you're not tripping up over this two of swords it's a decision it's a trick you know and it, it really is i'm glad that you i'm glad that this is where you're at because it's so true you know, we wake up and we can stub our toe and be like, great, that's how today is going to be. That's a choice. Or you can wake up and stub your toe and be like, whoo, I'm glad I got that out of the way. I'm about to have a really good day now, huh? It had to balance itself out real quick. Give me some shit. And then it's just going to be a bunch of awesome. Okay, bring it on. This is a choice. Are you going to stub your toe and let it ruin your whole day? Or are you imagining you got rid of some nasty stuff so that now you can have a bunch of awesome stuff happen? It's a decision. It's always a choice. It's up to you. What are we going to do? You're taking a minute to really take it all in and make the best decision possible. Yeah. You can take an L and not be bitter about it, not become jaded about it. For some of you... This pet is just old. It was time. They weren't eating anyways. It was scary. And now they're not in pain. They're, you know. <sighs> you still have the memories. You'd do it all over again. You would. 
you might not go and get a replacement right away, but um, this isn't going to be the end of you. You know what I mean? It's just some changes, and I feel like maybe you're ready for these changes. Maybe you've been wanting these changes to take place, and that's why it's so easy for you. I don't want to dissect this too much, but... um. This is, this is actually pretty easy for you to just flow through all of this process with, again, certainty and ease because you choose to. You choose to stop and take a minute when you need to and really step outside of things to see it for what it really is. It's a part of this thing we call life. It's a part of the process. Sometimes we're told, yes, we can. Sometimes we're told, no, not right now. Sometimes we're told, no, not ever. It's a choice. I'm going to leave it here. We got Cancer at the very end as well as, like I said before, Scorpio, Virgo, Leo, Aquarius, Libra, Libra. And then all the fixed signs, uh, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, we also have Virgo. I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I'll see you guys when I see you. Until then, stay beautiful.